Hi, Stig. Hi, Jens. So Kim isn't uh, here again. Um, he's implementing some digital devices at the moment uh, with Paul. So uh, Stig, um, I'm really happy to sit here with you because uh, there's one question left on our table. Great. And I would be uh, glad to ask you this question. I would love to see if I can answer. So what does pest control look like in five years? Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. What does it look like in five years? Um, well, that many aspects that we could talk about, but I think what I can talk about is what will the tool set look like for, for the pest controllers when it comes to digitization, because so much can happen on, on the business part of it. But what I think will happen is that we will see more and more adoption of smart tools. Um, because if, if we look at what's happening right now is the biggest urbanization that humanity has ever seen. Yeah. So today out of the seven billion people, roughly half, three and a half billion are living in urban areas that makes congestions and traffic and whatnot. But in 2030, 2035, we're gonna be about 10 million people and more than seven 10 billion, sorry, 10 billion people, and more yeah. than 7 billion are gonna live in urban areas. That means even more cars, even more congestion, and far more work for the pest controllers to do in, in these cities that will grow globally. That means that the, the pest controller must adopt ways to work more efficiently and more smart. I know you have had talks with, with Kim and with, uh, with Paul on, uh, on what does the work of a PCO look like and how can they use uh, and leverage these tools. But I think that what we will see is not just uh, hardware that will change and become digital, but also the adoption of the software platform. The software platform will evolve and the PCO will get tools in his software that will help him to plan his routes, optimize the tasks of the day, um, make sure that you have contracts ready when you visit a customer or you can get the customer to sign right then and there. This whole software as a service and software as a service towards the customers, I think will really increase. Because today the customers expect great service. As the city grows, Amazon comes in, they give great service, they have a one day shop, one day delivery experience. The population, the customers, the end customers are gonna expect that from the PCOs also. So the PCOs need to have the tools to really become efficient and smart and customer centric and automate these communications towards the customers. Yeah. So when we are, so when we are talking about what does it look like, then maybe we could um, give a short spotlight of our opinion, what it's in nowadays looking like. And then I think it's in a lot of situations we are using the same uh, tools or techniques or. Um, or the anti-sites that we used like 10, 20, 30 years ago or something like that. And when we are looking around, everything evolved. So extremely from the software uh, to, to the hardware, to the, the devices we are using, the size of the devices, the prices of the devices. What that did a, a small miniaturized camera cost like 10 years ago? Yeah. What's the price of it right now? The possibility of uh, using AI for uh, um, working with your data that you are collecting with digital control points, all things like that. Yeah. And one thing I saw when you were talk talking about urbanization, yeah, and this, this is right, and this is what's actually happening now, um, uh, we, we, we get confronted with new types of pests, yeah, and a new level of uh, hygiene that is uh, that all the people want because yeah, we are living in times of Corona. Yeah. I'm very glad to be in, in Denmark these days because when I'm in Germany, everybody is running around with a mask. So it's great that you have this uh, good vaccination status here with like over 85% or something like that. But people are really aware of, um, of diseases that are connected to pests. 
and um, yeah, this is all increase. Uh, so yeah, yeah. But I I, th I think also that um, the population, the the customers are being more and more focusing on the green aspect, the the environment. Like I want the, a, a good environment for my kids to grow up in. I yeah. know you guys are using uh, you're using rechargeable batteries, right? In the, in the Jerry product. Yeah. Um, the base of our product, you can you can change it, so you don't throw away the device when it's uh, it's done working. You just change the batteries. I think that is super important, um, and I think that it with with the, uh, a fun one actually um, looking at urbanization. If you look at Asia, uh, there's really a lot of urbanization happening there. They are very dependent upon their their agriculture. Yeah. So you need to make sure that you have your your insects under control. But how do you do that with uh, with uh, uh, using too much um, pesticides and also the the rodenticides? We need to get rid of that. But what happens as the city grows? You get different types of pests. So in Asia, suddenly an expanding city might expand into an area where the where the Bengalish tiger is living, and it doesn't know that it's been expropriated. So we need maybe we need to look at what do we do with this kind of wildlife that suddenly becomes pests. I just thought that's a that's a fun one. Yeah, yeah. I can't imagine tigers Sudden, as a pest. No, suddenly it <laughs> becomes a pest because it's it's in yeah. your, it's in your in it's in it's your a city. Problem. It's a yeah. problem. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so but what I always think is what what people are imagining is a world without pests, yeah. a world without mosquitoes, a world without mice, a world without pfft, everything that's that's making problems. But and we can come close to this point. Uh, I think, but we get never rid of it in no. total. I yeah. think you're absolutely right. And I think we're also going to see, y you mentioned AI, which yeah. is really interesting um, because I believe that will definitely come into to, uh, the world of pest control. We need to leverage that capacity of, uh, of data processing. Now with digital devices, we get so much data in and we could set up AI to start learning from that. And I know you guys are super innovative and I know you have brought some some stuff with you that I'm keen to hear about. Yeah. So maybe that's a segue into to AI talk.